Hello and uh, welcome to uh, this 15 minutes live. Uh, this is uh, take two. Yes, it's take two and uh, take one was a complete failure. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I've just wasted uh, 15 minutes of my time. Uh, I tried something new and it failed. Okay. And uh, I should have been more clever uh, just to run a test first. I should have run a test instead of doing the entire 15 minutes live and uh, later finding out that uh, it's been a failure. So, uh, yeah, I, so I use the, uh, uh, I don't even use the, 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 the standard camera uh, on, 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 on my device uh, because uh, uh, it doesn't pick up on the microphone. Somehow the standard camera cannot pick up on an external microphone. So uh, I'm using the, the camera uh, for the gimbal. Uh, so I've installed the camera for the gimbal and lucky enough it's picking up on the external microphone. So I thought like, okay, because I'm recording uh, using the uh, 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 gimbal camera, uh, so it records it in an mp4 format uh, and uh, high definition whatever the case might be but uh, it's taking me some time to upload the videos onto youtube because uh, i have to i have to uh, modify the video or i have to encode the video i, I don't know what, what what what's the correct word but if i just take the video as ease and i push it into youtube it takes extremely long uh, for the video to upload because I think uh, YouTube is encoding the video. It's, 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 yeah, and it, maybe that's the right word. It's encoding the video into a different format. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's just like the video just takes hours and hours and hours to upload. Because with the upload, there's an encoding or transforming the video into the format that YouTube wants it to be. So just taking too long. So to short circuit that, uh, I, I, I used to convert the video uh, using Adobe, uh, Adobe Premium. Using Adobe Premium, so I would just push the video into Adobe Premium and then I would export the video into the format that YouTube's want, want it to be a 1080, 1080p format and the YouTube format. So that takes about, maybe about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes to encode the video into the YouTube format and then I upload it onto YouTube. And I'm thinking, okay, let me, let me give it a try. Maybe there's an easier way of doing this. Maybe I can save some time. So I went onto the YouTube app, app and I wanted to do like a live, a live streaming or a live recording. I think it's called live streaming. And uh, trying to do the live streaming, uh, I got an error message saying that, uh, I don't know if it's my phone or my subscription or whatever, that, that doesn't meet the requirements to do the live streaming. So that was a bummer. I thought, okay, that's now not possible. Cannot do the live stream. So my other option was then to record the video within YouTube and hopefully it would record it in the format that YouTube wants it. So I tried that and I did a complete 15 minutes recording the video within YouTube and after playing the video back, I, the, the record YouTube recording uh, app was not picking up on the external microphone. So it seems like it's really a problem uh, with these uh, uh, re video recording applications, they're not picking up on the external microphone. So I think maybe the, the developers just never incorporated that into uh, the application, which is a bit sad uh, because I think uh, you need to be forward thinking as a developer. But anyway, that is my rent. Uh, <laughs> as you guys know, I start every video off with a rent. <laughs> so I got that off. It's out off my chest. It's off my shoulders. Yeah, boom. So I, um, I'm back to uh, my old way of doing things. Until I find a better way, I will continue doing it this way. 
So what are we talking about today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, someone posted on Facebook and uh, I thought I, I was thinking of it and it was on my mind. And uh, the person said that do not raise your children uh, in the same way that you were raised because they live in a different world to what you were raised in. Hmm, that's interesting. Do not raise your children the same way that you've been raised because they live in a different world than what you lived in. And I'm asking myself, is the world really that different? Are things really that different? Yes, things are different. I, I'm, not, I'm not disputing it. Uh, I think things have evolved. Uh, there's new ways of doing things. There's uh, new ways of interacting with the world. Uh, globalization. Uh, I mean, we, we, we're so in contact with one another. Uh, I mean, abroad is no longer abroad. Uh, I mean, we can have this conversation. You could be on the other side of the world. Uh, all this didn't exist when I was growing up. Uh, when I was growing up, we were playing uh, uh, LPs, what we called LPs, which are vinyl records. We were listening to the radio. And today, it's just different. There was no cell phones. Uh, yeah, so technology has advanced, uh, way of life has advanced for humans. Uh, we have access to more information, everything is rapid, everything is immediate. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the way we live is different, right? But there's a lot of things that are the same. So I don't totally agree that we should not raise our children in the same way that we were raised. I mean, uh, there's, there's some values uh, that's obviously been uh, passed on. Uh, from the previous generation uh, to us uh, and, and we'd like to keep those values. Uh, there's certain traditions uh, that we hold valuable and we would like to protect those traditions. Uh, it's, and those traditions uh, are, and values are what makes us a people and not all people are the same. Uh, we are all different. Uh, different cultures, different religions, uh, just different. We are different. Although we are all humans, uh, there's an element that, that groups us together. And uh, there's, there's some, some, some common things that we believe in and that we do and, and how we act that keeps us together as a people. So yes, those things don't change and we, we are, although some of us are losing our culture, some of us are losing our way of life and, and, and the more we advance and technology advance, the more global we become because uh, the access to multimedia and access to media, the influence, uh, which I hate, especially American pop culture, the, that type of influence, I, I hate it on our youngsters. Uh, well, when I was growing up, I was also influenced by it, but uh, sorry Americans, I am just sorry, but you have a culture and you have a way of, that's just, I think that's deteriorating uh, everybody as a human being. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm just going to say the things that, that, that bugs me about the American culture and American pop culture. And, uh, you know, the disrespect that the music is showing towards uh, females and the disrespect that uh, the, the, the American pop culture and, and the music is showing towards human beings. I, I, I feel that type of influence is not welcome in, uh, where I live. And, uh, or, you know, uh, the, the, we, we're very strong on humanity and, uh, you know, calling your neighbor or calling okay let me just stop it there so they those type of influence so yes uh, although we are evolving as a people there's certain values that we need to protect there's certain cultural elements that we need to protect and, and all that there 
but uh, yes, the the world is changing, and uh, no, the world is not changing. But yes, things are changing, but no, the world is not changing. Uh, uh, I'm now reminded of uh, one of the songs that I really loved yeah, in growing up as a child uh, in the '80s, and uh, we we are the world. Uh, uh, USA for Africa, a uh, great initiative, a uh, fundraiser for Africa, uh, aid for Africa. And I think it was Quincy Jones who wrote the song, We are the world, we are the children. Beautiful song, beautiful meaning, uh, good intentions, and uh, awesome artist. I, I remember uh, some of my favorite artists participating in that initiative and I just see Quincy Jones conducting we are the world and we have Stevie Wonder in there and I know I'm a bit young for all these names but they were, these were household names in my house this is music that was played in my house uh, Quincy Jones uh, Stevie Wonder I think we had uh, Ray Charles in there uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen these are just names Cindy Lauper uh, these are names that are coming, Jeffrey Osborne, uh, uh, Al Jarreau, my favorite Al Jarreau, uh, another favorite of mine, uh, uh, I don't know if Barbara Streisand was there, but uh, Dion Warwick, uh, Dion Warwick, uh, 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 Gladys Knight, I can't remember if Gladys Knight is there, but I'm just thinking, I think they, they were there. Uh, yes, so uh, these are just names that are coming up. Uh, let me just see if I can get to two more names. I can see the faces, but the names are not getting to me. Uh, Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan's in there. Uh, who's still in there? Come on, come on, come on. Anyway, USA for Africa. We are the world. And I loved it, but as I am now uh, older and wiser, I think it's a bit arrogant to say that we are the world. And I'm talking about human beings and people. Uh, and I'm not diminishing Quincy Jones. It's, it's a lovely song. It's a beautiful song. And I don't think uh, we, when he wrote it, he had this arrogance that, that humans are the world. We are not the world. I don't believe we are the world. We are part of the world. And uh, if, if we're not there, I think the world, not, the world will just continue. Things will just happen. It will continue. The world doesn't need us to be there as humans. I think if we're not there, uh, the world will be vus. I think it's vus, and it, it goes back to the Bible, Genesis. And this is Afrikaans, uh, that was vus. And the right word for vus, oh, it was wild. Yeah, vus. Uh, the world was vus. Uh, so the world will be wild. I think before humans, it was wild. And I think we bring a certain order to it. Uh, we, we decide what to plant, where to plant, how to plant it. So we, we bring that order. Uh, we, we have control over that, uh, we spray over our crops, uh, we kill insects uh, so that they don't kill the crops. So I think we've got a level of control over the world, we build roads, we build cities, so uh, we, we are in control on how we structure the world. So uh, we have a control over, hum over mother nature, okay? So yes, we have that control, but I think if we're not there, the world will just go on. The world don't need us. It will just be wild, but it will continue. Photosynthesis will still continue. And I don't think the world is changing. The world is not changing. The world is the way it is. It's been like this forever. It will be like that forever. It's not changing at all. I think it's human beings that are that are bringing the changes into the world. Global warming, the change of uh, seasons, the change in climate. I think that is an impact that we have on the world. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we discover new materials. Uh, we discover new ways of things. We apply that uh, to improve our, our living. Uh, I think we, uh, uh, we, we take, and I think we, we as humans, we, we haven't created anything new. We haven't, uh, we haven't created anything new. We haven't, uh, uh, we just applied. We, we uncover, we discover and uncover, and we use that to apply uh, 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 technology advancements and, and, and new ways of doing things. But we haven't created anything. We don't have the ability to create. We only have the ability to take and apply 
And uh, yeah, I want to say a bit more, but thank you people. That's my 15 minutes live. Thank you for watching and goodbye.